Before we get into the video, I'm gonna give you a quick preview. Everybody got shears, groomers, barbers, stylists, beauticians, all you guys. Even some of you guys who do fabric shears, use no fabric shears. Listen up. I'm about to show you how you can sharpen your shears. But before I show you how to do it on sandpaper, I'm going to show you on qualify to do it on the machine. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> This is our new barber studio, talking sports. Real barbers, real dudes, talking real life. Yes, stay tuned. Stay smooth. Don't move. You here with the hot boys. What's going on? Today in this video, we are going to show you how to do special modifications to make these clippers work for you. Whether you have blades, clippers, or even scissors, we're going to teach you how to make them work better. Whether you're a barber, stylist, or a beautician, or pet groomer, this video is for you. And I'm going to show you that I play with these clippers because I play with these clippers. What does that make me? That make me Kawhi Leonard. Why I say Kawhi Leonard? Because he's the only two-way player who is good on defense, and he's great on offense. And so like Kawhi Leonard, when I'm using these clippers as a barber, y'all seeing those videos of me cutting hair, I'm on offense, and I'm playing with these clippers. But I'm also in the back on defense, modifying these clippers, playing with these clippers. So like I said, I'm going to show you, because I'm the only one in the barber game that play with these clippers, because I play with these clippers. Now we're going to do the modifications to scissors. Or better yet, just sharpening scissors. Everybody want to know how you sharpen scissors. I'm going to show you how to sharpen scissors on the machine. And I'm going to show you how to sharpen the scissors using sandpaper. But the first thing you need to know is when we get over here to this machine. Now I'm going to do what y'all mentioned before. I'm going to mark the blade with a marker. Thanks to you, you at home, some of your comments, y'all said y'all would like to see that. Now, it doesn't matter what pair of scissors you have, whether you a dog groomer or a barber or stylist. The basic shear is about 33 and a half on the angle, sharpening. If you take a look there, you set your angle at about 33 and a half, and then I'll show you the blade. We're going to be putting a cut right into the tip of that blade. Now, let's take a look. Start up machine, put your glasses on. Come right here. Stay smooth, don't move. Do a couple of strokes there. As you can see, that's the cut we got. But we don't know if the cut is good unless you rub the back of the shear. If you don't feel a little burr at the tip, that means you didn't cut off enough metal to get the blade sharp. So I'm going to keep going because it's smooth right there. There's nothing at the back. Now... Okay, we got a little burr there. So right there at the tip, you should feel like a little bump. That lets you know you took off enough metal where the blade should be nice and sharp. Your hand should have a little snug pull right there. Now you turn the blade over. I mean, you take the scissors out and you switch blades. Make sure I feel my burns. A little slight burns. Be a little bit. It could be a little bit better. All right. Now I got a nice burn. Now what you're gonna do is turn the 
clamp over and this side is going to be the buffing side and you're going to buff all that out nice and clean then you take and do the other side you see that nice shine that's because it just got buffed flip it over now buff this side Now, you should get a nice little pop. And you open and close until you cut the burrs off. Open and close, open and close, open and close, open and close. And now you should have a nice, shiny, clean edge. Very sharp shear. All right. Now, the same process that we did over there, I'm going to show you how you create that on a sharpening block. Normally with this type of a sharpening block, you will put the sandpaper on this to sand something. But you put the sandpaper backwards on the curved part that you hold. The reason why? Because you need that bump to be able to get your angle. So now we're going to take these shears, some really old shears, but that don't matter. We're going to take a marker. We're going to mark the blade. We're going to mark the blade. Now. What you're trying to do is that tip of the edge, you're trying to create a groove into that edge, knock some of the metal down, get you fresh metal so that that angle that cuts for you is sharp. Now remember, you just want to catch that angle. And the way you catch that angle is you hold the block, come across the side of the block like this, and lean towards where the angle side is, and start down, bend forward. Now, of course, this is going to take you a little bit longer, but I'll show you how I look. See, I put that marker in it, and you see how I started to get the shine at the tip part. That's the most important part. You're eventually going to come back here, but this is the part that cut, and that's the part you want to put the emphasis on. And you want to keep going until you feel a little burr back there. And now, if you notice, I just moved. You should see some metal shards. You see those metal shards? In my finger right there, the black metal shards, that's the black of the marker that came off. And those metal shards is what you're pushing on the burr back there. So let's keep going because I ain't get far. This is what the wheel normally would do. And this is good for dog groomers, stylists, beautician, even barbers. And as you do it, each time you do it, you'll start to feel the angle. And you're going, you can just play with that angle. And you can feel your body lock right into the angle. Okay. Now you see what we're working with? There's a slight, you see that metal? There's a slight burr that's on the back of that shear. And when you, you hear that, that's that roughness. You're cutting that burr that you created. And you keep going until you realize what you created is the smooth, sharpened edge. Then, of course, you flip over and you start all over again. So we got the marker side. Now, this is the side we want to sharpen mainly and watch what happens. And I always suggest you practice on some old pair of scissors. Because when you first do this, you're not going to be good at it. It takes practice. Yes, practice. We're talking about practice. Yeah, you just can't jump on this. Do it a few times with no practice and then get on and put up a comment and say, Hey man, it didn't work. A lot of times people do that. They don't realize. I've been doing this for a while. And I'm showing you it can be done. But at the end of the day, you're not going to just grab this thing and then make your scissors perfect. You're going to have to practice. And so practice a little bit before you get on and put on a comment and say, what I taught you didn't work. No, what you did didn't work because you didn't do what I taught you until you practice it right. That's all it is. You're going to get good at it eventually. Like me, I can move a little fast because I know exactly what I'm doing. And I see I, I can pick up speed. 
I know what angle I'm messing with, and I know what I'm doing, and I can get up speed. But you can't get to that speed yet. Take your time. You move slow. And like I said, stay smooth. Don't move until you get good. Now, you see what I'm working with? And look, I got a burr. See the metal shards? And now, I got some sharp scissors. So, what I did was show you what I created on the machine, we can create with sandpaper. You have any questions? Let me know. And always remember, if you want to see me do something specific, put a comment down below. And if I get 20 or some comments about sharpening any object for groomers, stylists, beauticians, or barbers, I'll make the video. Please, if you can, let me know how you feel. Hit the like button, subscribe, and oh, by the way, make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you get a notification when I put up the next video.